In this video, we're going to be looking at excluding people from campaigns in more detail. I'll explain the difference between exclude and excluded and show you how to prevent people from receiving any communication within your campaign and supply it with examples. First, let's start a new campaign. Before I add anyone to the queue, I know from the very start that I don't want to invite people from Wayfair company. Either because they are not my target, they are my competition, or perhaps I've used another channel to reach them already. For this purpose, excluding them is best achieved on a global exclude level. Go to Lists tab of your campaign. Find Exclude sublist and click Add Contacts. Choose how you want them to be added. I will collect them from search page using company filter. By adding people to this list, you are basically telling Linked Helper to ignore them going forward until the end of your campaign. We'll see how it works in a while. Let's check. 30 people ended up being in my exclude list. Next, let's start building our workflow. My first action would be visiting. Let's add people to the queue. Go to search page. I will simply remove the company filter this time. Among the search results, there will be definitely people working at Wayfair, a company I wish to exclude from Target. Notice how these profiles are getting skipped during collecting. They don't even make it to the initial queue because the exclude rule applies. Second action would be to postpone profiles by three hours before connecting with them. Action 3 invites second and third level contacts. For a quick test of my global exclude list, let's try to upload some of my excluded folks in the queue of Action 3. I have 15 profile links in my list, 10 profiles from my exclude list, plus 5 normal ones. Let's see how many of them will eventually end up in the queue. As you can see, only 5 out of 15 profiles have been imported, the normal ones. The rest were just ignored as being part of my exclude list. Now they appear in the excluded sublist of this action. This doesn't mean you always need to start your campaign with excluding people. You can also exclude contacts from Action Queue. Let's go to Action 3 and put those 5 new people in excluded list. For this, I will select all and then click Exclude button. What happens is they will add up to the global list and count it as excluded for this action too. Let's recap. There's a global exclude list in a campaign level where you put profiles that you want to be ignored. If you try to collect them from search or somehow add them to the queue at some point, they won't be processed. This list works for all actions of the current campaign. There's also an excluded sublist for every action. This is the end result of applying the exclude list rule. It shows how many profiles were marked as excluded. For them, the campaign is over.